Alright, it is day five. This time it's August 10th and uh, I'm just driving. Um, I was in Livingston, um, Montana. The reason I was in Livingston, which is about an hour north of Yellowstone, was because every campground was full, every motel in the Yellowstone area and all the towns surrounding it were full. And I barely got a room in Livingston, so it's prime, prime time for for uh, going to Yellowstone. So anyway, I'm on my way to Grand Teton National Park. Um, I thought I'd just kind of show you what, where what I'm looking at. So we're about to actually go through a town, but you know, whatever. beautiful so yeah I can't wait to go to Grand Teton um, it was when I drove through it just to get to Yellowstone it was so majestic and nice but I'll take I'll uh, shoot a video later peace out Cubs right. boys and girls interesting fact time um, yeah so well first so one of the things I inherited from my dad was we don't really read directions very well if at all so after having my my GIP, my GPS for several months, I uh, finally realized about 20 minutes ago that if you push a certain little button, it'll tell you the elevation that you're on. So um, I just realized I'm at a roughly 6,600 feet. And for you AT, Appalachian Trail enthusiasts, such as myself and completed through hiker, Class of 2010, shout out to, to all those. Um, <clears throat> the highest point on the AT is uh, 66 or so hundred feet at Kling's, Klingman's Dome. Please, for you technical people, don't get all mad because I didn't give the exact footage. You can go on Wikipedia and we'll gladly show it. But uh, yeah, so 6,600 feet. <laughs> And I'm um, just at a random pullover on the side of the road. So here's a, a glimpse of where I'm at with the highest point on the AT, but in Yellowstone. part about it is that um, this is not even this is like an average height so I got up to 10,000 yesterday all right people are looking I hate when people are looking but they're looking yeah keep looking awesome view totally awesome There's no way to beat this at all. This is why I came out here. This is the exact reason I had to see this. The camera does not do it justice in the slightest bit. Like, it looks small on the camera compared to what I'm really seeing. This is awesome. Boys and girls, I've driven around this Grand Teton parking lot at Jenny Lake for like 10 minutes trying to find a spot. It is packed. No clue where there's anything open. This, this is a popular little national park. 
I tried to find camping at Jenny Lakes. The guide said if you didn't get it by uh, 9 a.m., you weren't going to get it. It's packed. Um, kind of disheartened, but at the same time, I'm, I'm, I'm excited only because I'm glad that national parks are filling out. Glad people still go. Um, yeah, look, look at all that. No idea where I'm going to go now. Uh, I'll just head on down the road a little bit farther in the park. But I mean, this, this, it's good. Glad we're getting money's worth here, but at the same time, man, I picked the wrong week to come to these places. School's back in session here in about two weeks. Everybody's family's out here, so, oh well. Better uh, luck next dawn down the road, right? Right! Cool. Alright, um, I took a shortcut to get to this campground because I want to get there quickly. Um, and because they're all filling out and I ended up going down a dirt road. Let me show you. I don't know if you can see it through the back of the window. Yeah. Anyway, the reason I'm stopped is, the reason I'm stopped is cuz there's some buffalo right here. Yeah, I'm not going to get out because they really frown upon them. They say that these are will charge. These are volatile animals. So I'm going to go. Let me see here. whistle didn't work. Still cool. I love it. I absolutely love it. Grand Tetons. I love it. I love Yellowstone, but I like the Grand Tetons. How many times am I going to say this today? But this is awesome. Simply awesome. I'm so glad I came out here. All right, again, another glorious hike for firewood. Um, I think I'll be coming up to a river here in a minute. But it's pretty pick clean of all firewood, so I'll try to find something. Ah. Again, I'm staying at the right across from the Grand Teton, the big mountain range I've been taking all those pictures of and videos of, so, yeah, when, uh, I hope to find some firewood, it's, it's pretty sparse. You can hear the river. It's a cool little river. That's cool. Well, 
Yeah, I have no idea where to get firewood. But uh, if I brought my fishing rod, this would be an awesome. But, alright, see you later. My camp.